Pigeons and their poo have been a huge problem in Spalding for years. It's unsightly, unhealthy and it's the wrong image for the town. We care about our town, we want it to look well cared for and welcome and open to visitors and don't think what an untidy town this is. So, the council hired a pest control company to bring in a hawk, like this one, twice a day to disturb the pigeons and stop them from roosting. It's not the first time the birds of prey have been used in this way. Every year at Wimbledon, pigeons are scared off by hawks. And in Plymouth, hawks have been used to move seagulls away. All this area, including round here at uh, HSBC, was full of poo. We had to get rid of it all. The hawk has helped now to disperse some of the pigeons so life's a lot, lot better. People are concerned that having the hawk is cruel to the pigeons. What do you say to that? Cruelty is something I would not have on my uh, uh, CV. I've not seen or heard of anybody uh, uh, seeing a hawk down a pigeon and eat it. You can still see some pigeons in Spalding Town Centre, but South Holland District Council says it's confident the hawk is doing its job and scaring them away. They've also put up some signs asking people not to encourage the birds to come back. If you sit down and eat, I love to see them come round. I took bits out of purpose. What was it like before you had the hawk coming round? Oh, it was a nightmare. We had pigeons coming in the shop. This is a good day for the amount of pigeons that we've got. Usually they are everywhere, you know, they fly up, they hit you in the face. It's not really something that's ideal for the town centre. And if you look around, it's filthy. The council says it will assess the hawk's work at the end of the 12-week trial to see what should be done next. But it says early figures suggest human footfall in the town centre is already up as the pigeon population has reduced. Jessica Lane, BBC Look North in Spalding.